Hello, welcome back. <coughs> I'm John old YouTuber. Let's read about the Gobi lessons. I've been uh, flying around in the flight radar 24 and I notice how dry how dry the central areas look like. It's like a big desert. So many parts of the world is looking look like big dry deserts. So I like to read about the uh, deserts. Sahara Desert Gobi. And I have a desert. Desert PDF. I'll read this next. But let's do this. I need that <coughs> I need a minute to do myself ready. But <coughs> I will make a video later. I talk about the deserts. I will uh, I did it today in Danish, my language is like two hours, so I'm not going uh, to do that today. Gobi Desert. Gobi Desert Gobi Desert Dunes.jpg. Gobi Taklamakan Map.jpg. Length 1,500 km, 930 m, width 800 km, 500 m, area 1,295,000 km to 500,000 square m, naming native name, Chinese, Mongolian, Geography countries China, Mongolia, Station Nogavi, Sugbata, Region Inner Mongolia coordinates 42.59 degree N103.43 degree E coordinates 42.59 degree N103.43 degree E Gobi Desert Chinese name The Gobi Desert, Mongolian, forward slash B forward slash, Chinese, Pinyin, GB, is a large cold desert and grassland region in East Asia and is the sixth largest desert in the world. The name of the desert comes from the Mongolian word Gobi, used to refer to all of the waterless regions in the Mongolian plateau, while in Chinese Gobi is used to refer to rocky, semi-deserts such as the Gobi itself rather than sandy deserts. One, geography. The Gobi measures 1,600 kilometers. 1,000 mi, from southwest to northeast and 800 kilometers, 500 mi, from north to south. The desert is widest in the west, along the line joining the Lake Boston and the Lop North, 87 degrees 89 degrees east, dot, 2, in 2007, it occupied an arc of land, 3, in area dot in its broadest definition. The Gobi includes the long stretch of desert extending from the foot of the Palmers, 77 degrees east, to the Greater Khingan Mountains, 116, 118 degrees east, on the border of Matria, and from the foothills of the Altai Sion and Yablonoi mountain ranges, to on the north to the Kunlan, Altinta, and Chilean mountain ranges, Wig form. The northern edges of the Tibetan Plateau, on Thesuth dot, for, a relatively large area on the east side of the Greater Khingan Range, between the upper waters of the Songhua, Sungari, and the upper waters of the Liaoho, is reckoned to belong to the Gobi by conventional usage. Some geographers and ecologists prefer to regard the western area of the Gobi region, as defined above the basin of the Tarim in Xinjiang and the desert basin of Lop Nor and Hami, Kumul, as forming a separate and independent cert, called the Taklamakan Desert. Two, much of the Gobi is not sandy, instead resembling exposable rock. Climate. Chinese transcription standard Mandarin Hana Yupining by Pa. K. Pi, other mandarins I are urging. Mongolian name Mongolian Cyrillic Mongolian script transcription sasm forward slash go. Gobi by NASA World Wind Sand Dunes in Inner Mongolia Autonomous Region, China. The Gobi is overall a cold desert, with frost and occasionally snow occurring on its dunes. Besides being quite far north, 
It is also located on a plateau roughly 910-1520 m. 2,994,990 feet above sea level, which contributes to its low temperatures. An average of about 194 millimeters, 7.6 in, of rain falls annually in the Gobi. Additional moisture reaches parts of the Gobi in winter as snow eye blown by the wind from the Siberian steppes. These winds may cause the Gobi to reach 40 degrees C. 40 degree F, in winter to 45 degree C, 113 degrees Fahrenheit, in summer dot, 5, however, the climate of the Gobi is one of great extremes, 2, with rapid changes of temperature, 2, of as much as 35 degrees Celsius, 63 degrees Fahrenheit, in 24 hour spans dot temperature, 1190 M, Yulan Bata, 1150 m annual mean 2.5 degrees c 27.5 degrees fahrenheit 0.4 degrees c 31.3 degrees fahrenheit january mean and 26.5 degrees c 15.7 degree f 21.6 degree c 6.9 degree f july mean 17.5 degree c 63.5 degrees Fahrenheit, 18.2 degrees C, 64.8 degrees Fahrenheit, extremes 47 to 34 degrees Celsius, 53 to 93 degree F, 42.2 to 39.0 degrees Celsius, 44.0 to 102.2 degree F. In southern Mongolia, the temperature has been recorded as low as 32.8 degrees C, 27.0 degree F. In contrast, in Alxa, Inner Mongolia, it rises as high as 37 degrees Celsius, 99 degrees Fahrenheit. In July, dot average winter minimums are a frigid 21 degrees C, 6 degree F, while summer time maximums are a warm 27 degrees Celsius, 81 degrees Fahrenheit. Most of the precipitation falls during the summer dot, 6, although the southeast monsoons reach the southeast parts of the Gobi. The area throughout this region is generally characterized by extreme dryness, especially during the winter, when the Siberian anticyclone is at its strongest. The southern and central parts of the Gobi Desert have variable plant growth due to this monsoon activity. The more northern areas of the Gobi are very cold and dry making it unable to support much plant growth. This cold and dry weather is attributed to Siberian Mongolian high pressure cells. Dot 7. Hence, the icy dust and snowstorms of spring and early summer, 2, plus early January, winter, dot conservation, ecology, and economy. The Gobi Desert is the source of many important fossils finds including the first dinosaur eggs, 26 of which, averaging 23 centimeters, 9 in, in length, were uncovered in 1923.8. Flaming cliffs in Mongolia sacred over in the Gobi Desert The sand dunes of Kongor in Elsgurv and Saikhan NP, Mongolia remains of the Great Wall of China in the Gobi Desert archaeologists and paleontologists have done excavations in the Nemet Basin in the northwestern part of the Gobi Desert, in Mongolia, which is noted for its fossil treasures, including early mammals, dinosaur eggs, and prehistoric stone implements, some 100,000 years old. Dot 9. Despite the harsh conditions, these deserts and the surrounding regions sustain many animal species. Some are even unique including black-tailed gazelles, marbled polecats, wild Bactrian canals, Mongolian wild ass and sun plovers. They are occasionally visited by snow leopards, Gobi bears, and wolves. Lizards are especially well adapted to the climate of the Gobi Desert, with approximately 30 species distributed across its southern Mongolian border. 10. The most common vegetation in the Gobi Desert are shrubs adapted to drought. Dot. 11. These shrubs included gray sparrow saltwort, salsola passerina, 
grassish brush and low grasses such as needle grass and bridle grass. Due to livestock grazing, the amount of shrubs in the desert has decreased. 11. Several large nature reserves have been established in the Gobi, including Gobi Gurvan Saikhan National Park. Great Gobi and Great Gobi be strictly protected area. The area is vulnerable to trampling by livestock and off-road vehicles. Effects from human intervention are greater in the eastern Gobi Desert, where rainfall is heavier and may sustain livestock. In Mongolia, grasslands have been degraded by goats, which are re-raised by nomadic herders as source of Kashmir wool. 12. Large. Copper deposits are being mined by Rio Tinto Group. 13. The mine was and remains controversial. There was significant opposition in Mongolia's parliament to the terms under which the mine will proceed, and some are calling for the terms to be renegotiated. Specifically, the contention revolves primarily around the question of whether negotiations were fair, Rio Tinto is far better resourced, and whether Rio Tinto will pay adequate taxes on the revenues it derives from the mine. An agreement was reached whereby the operation will be exempt from windfall tax. 14. Desertification The Gobi Desert is expanding through desertification, most rapidly on the southern edge into China which is seeing 3,600 km to 1,390 square mi of grassland overtaken every year. Dust storms decreased in frequency between 1996 and 2016, causing further damage to China's agriculture economy. However, in some areas desertification has been slowed or reversed. 15. The northern and eastern boundaries between desert and grassland are constantly changing. This is mostly due to the climate conditions before the growing season, which influence the rate of evapotranspiration and subsequent plant growth. 16. The expansion of the Gobi is attributed mostly to human activities, locally driven by deforestation overgrazing, and depletion of water resources as well as to climate change. 15. China has tried various plans to slow the expansion of the desert, which have met with some success. 17. The Three North Shelter Forest Program, or Green Great Wall, was a Chinese government tree planting project begun in 1978 and set to continue through 2050. The goal of the program is to reverse a desertification by planting aspen and other fast-growing trees on some 36.5 million hectares across some 551 counties in 12 provinces of northern China. 18, 19, Ecorgens. The Gobi, broadly defined, can be divided into five distinct dry ecorgens. Based on variations in climatic and topography eastern Gobi Desert Steppe, the easternmost of the Gobi Ecorgens, covering an area of 281,800 km to 108,804 square mi. It extends from the Inner Mongolian Plateau in China northward into Mongolia. It includes the Yin Mountains and many low-lying areas with sole pants and small ponds. It is bounded by the Mongolian Matrian grassland to the north, the Yellow River Plain to the southeast, and the Alashan Plateau semi desert to the southeast and east. Alashan Plateau semi desert lies west and southwest of the eastern Gobi Desert steppe. It consists of the desert basins and low mountains lying between the Gobi Altai range on the north, the Helen Mountains to the southeast and the Chilean mountains and northeastern portion of the Tibetan Plateau on the southwest. Gobi Lakes Valley Desert Steppe, Ecorgen lies north of Alashan Plateau semi-desert between the Gobi Altai Range to the south and the Kangai Mountains to the north. Xungarian Basin Semi-Desert, includes the desert basin lying between the Altai Mountains on the north and the Tiu Shan Range on the south. It includes the northern portion of China's Xinjiang province and extends into the southeastern corner of Mongolia. The Alashan Plateau semi desert lies to the east, and the Imin Valley steppe to the west, on the China Kazakhstan border. 
Team Shan Range separates the Xungarian Basin semi-desert from the Taklamakan Desert, which is a low, sandy desert basin surrounded by the high mountain ranges of the Tibetan Plateau to the south and the Palmers to the west. The Taklamakan Desert ecorgion includes the Desert of Lop, Eastern Gobi Desert Steppe, Bactrian camels in the Bay and Hongbol province of Mongolia the surface is extremely diversified, although there are no great differences in vertical elevation. Between Ulaanbaatar, 48 degree 00 N107 degree 00 E, and the small lake of Iron Jubasunor, 43 degree 45 N111 degree 50 E, the surface is greatly eroded. Broad flat depressions and debasins are separated by groups of flat-topped mountains of relatively low elevation 150 to 180 m, 490 to 590 feet, through which archaic rocks crop out as crags and isolated rugged masses. The floors of the depressions lie mostly between 900 and 1000 m, 3000 and 3300 feet, above sea level. Further south, between Iron Dushasunor and the Yellow River, comes a region of broad tablelands alternating with flat plains, the latter ranging at altitudes. A Kulan, Mongolian wild ass, on a hill in the eastern Gobi of Mongolia at sunset half 1000-1100 m and the former at 1070 to 1200 m, 3510 to 3940 foot. The slopes of the plateaus are more or less steep and are sometimes penetrated by bays of the lowlands. Dot, too, as the border range of the Haiyangan is approached, the country steadily rises up to 1,370 m, 4,490 feet, and then to 1,630 m, 5,350 feet. Here small lakes frequently fill the depressions. Doughty water in them is generally salty or brackish. Both here and for 320 km, 199 mi, south of Ulaanbaata, streams are frequent and grass grows more or less abundantly. Through all the central parts until the bordering mountains are reached, trees and shrubs are reutily absent. Clay and sand are the predominant formations, theater courses, especially in the north being frequently excavated 2 to 3 m, 6 feet 7 into 9 feet 10 m, deep. In many places in the flat, dry valleys or depressions farther south, beds of loaves, 5 to 6 m, 16 to 20 feet, thick, are exposed. West of the route from Ulaanbaatar to Kolgan, the country presents approximately the same general features, except that the mountains are not so irregularly scattered in groups but have more strongly defined strikes, most lie east to west, west northwest to east southeast, and west southwest to east northeast. Dot, two, the altitudes are higher, those of the lowlands ranging from 1000 to 1700 m. 3,300 to 5,600 feet, and those e off the ranges from 200 to 500 m, 660 to 1,640 feet, higher, though in a few cases they reach altitudes of 2,400 m, 7,900 feet. The elevations do not form continuous chains but make up a congeries of short ridges and groups rising from a common base and intersected by a labyrinth of ravines, gullies, glens, and basins. But the tablelands, built up of the horizontal red deposits of the Hangai, or Brushev's Gobi Formation, which are characteristic of the southern parts of eastern Mongolia, are absent here or occur only in one locality, near the Shuramuran River. They are greatly intersected by gullies or dry water courses. Water is scarce, with no streams, no lakes, no wells, and precipitation falls seldom. The prevailing winds blow from northwest and northwest, and the pall of dust overhangs the country as in the Taklamakan and the desert of Lop. Characteristic of the flora are wild garlic, 
Collidium gracile, wormwood, saxol, nitraria cabiri caragana, ephdra, saltwort and the grass lake.